but overjoyed. Can you imagine those two years there at the tomb? And then all of a sudden, through all of this natural disaster that's taking place around them, the earthquake and the stone moving, the angel coming to say, he's not here. He has risen, just as he says. Go, go, tell the others. They were fearful, but overjoyed. They were fearful. What does all this mean? What's going to happen next? Where will this take us? They were overjoyed. Oh my God, it's true. What he told us is true. But what does it all mean? Where will this take us? We find ourselves this morning in the very same place and feeling those same emotions. Fearful. How long is mother to talk? <laughs> but overjoyed because of Easter. <laughs> he is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't it fabulous to hear that again? Choir, can you do it for us? Once, twice, three times? Come on, give us a melody. So what you get? <laughs> what are we going to do next? And yet, Gloria, he had been sung that for so long, and all of a sudden, his full voice, and with all those instruments, and filled with joy, glory to God in his life. You know, we came here on Holy Thursday, as we celebrated the Lord's Last Supper, and as we entered into that ministry of service to one another, we did what Jesus did as he watched the feet of his disciples. So then we enter into that ministry of service, making ourselves available to others who are in need. And we minister. And our service is joined to the service of Jesus. And that is tremendous ministry and service to the church universal and God in his heaven. <coughs> On Good Friday, the same year, and we immerse ourselves in the suffering and the death of Jesus. And as we embrace the cross at the moment of veneration, we united our suffering to that of Jesus. So that our suffering, too, becomes part of the salvation of the world, gaining for other people that same joy and peace that we experience today as we celebrate the resurrection. And I'd like to suggest to you, in fact, I do suggest to you, that the joy and the peace we feel today in celebrating the resurrection is a portion and a share of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Every time we do something that brings us just some measure of success, we are participating in the resurrection of Jesus. Think about this for just a moment. In our homes, when there is some disagreement, some discord, and we sit down and have those discussions, my dad would say it's time to come to Jesus, <laughs> that those reconciliations that we effect in our homes are in fact a part of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we rise with him to something new, something different, something that gives us the opportunity to grow a bit more. Those reconciliations that we affect in our workplaces, in our schools, all of that is a part of the resurrection of Jesus. The realization after someone very, very dear to us has died that this is all part of God's eternal plan to bring us all into the glory of the kingdom, that is a 
part of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That major surgery that we have to go through, the fear that we have, and releasing that so that we understand and somehow come to accept the fact that God is going to get us through this, that's part of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Last night, as we welcomed into this faith community and into this universal church, the body of Christ, 18 new members, eight or nine through baptism, and the rest through profession of faith, all of them are now part of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And they bring all of us, this community of St. Paul, into that resurrection so that we who experience the peace and joy of this day are able to share that with the two Marys who run along the road to go to the disciples and say, it's true, it's true, he's risen. And notice that on the way, fearful but overjoyed, Jesus himself appeared to them. And I was struck by the fact that what did they do? They embraced his peace. I had never noticed that before. They embraced his peace, acknowledging that he is Lord and Savior. He is master of the world. He's the king. And John is Matthew in this gospel does incredible things to reveal to us this joy and peace that is ours as we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Each one of us having died to self in the waters of baptism and coming out of those waters to be new creation, just as we talked about and studied throughout our limited season. God has the power and the authority to take the dust of the tomb and to create a new humanity. So we are today that new humanity, reveling in the peace and the joy of Easter, firmly convinced that Jesus our Lord has risen and that we, like him, are his risen presence in the world today. We are the body of Christ. Ours is the mission. Ours is the hope. Ours is the glory to reveal to the world Jesus resurrected and glorified. And we do that through our own appearances, we do that with the way we speak to one another and to the world. We do that in the service that we do as Christian disciples, reaching out to others that hand of welcome, that hope of peace, that bread and wine. One with all those who have gone before us, the body of Christ is renewed, the body of Christ is new. Happy Easter, Father. Glory to God in the highest.